Welcome back everybody. I am of course the VR Knight and today I got something a little different for you, okay? So work with me here, something new. Everything's new, my channel's new, so it's all gonna be new. So working through the kinks and bugs, you know? What you do? Anyways, today, a quick review on underdogs. Now, there's a lot of video reviews out there, but a lot are sponsored. I'm definitely not sponsored. You can trust the VR Knight. I will never do any kind of sponsoring whatsoever at all. So look at this can of uh, C4 just have to show up on my screen, but uh, not a sponsor. Definitely love the drink though. Anyways, are you guys ready to knuckle up? Let's do this. Knuckle up! Where's the So, you can get the game on all platforms, but the PSVR 2. For now, I heard it's coming, it's on the way. The average price, $29.99. Um, you might be able to wait if you're not too interested in it right now, get it on sale, but is it worth the $29.99? Simply, yes. I have not played a game like this since Gorn. If you haven't heard of Gorn, go find that one. It, I believe it's on all the stores. It is also a roguelike arena type game where you can literally grab the heads off of guys and pull them apart, hit them with a spike bat, what, you know, all the good stuff you want to do, you can do it there. And with this game, Underdogs, it's very, very similar to that, except you're driving a massive mech. And let me tell you, the one thing I notice is I feel like I am in that machine, okay? That's very hard to do, but they nailed the physics. These developers must have spent a, a good decent amount of time to get it, but man, I tell you, when you get in that machine, you get calibrated and you get going, it just, it, it becomes part of you. It's awesome, I was sweaty within 10 minutes, so I've got a lot more game to play. Uh, I heard the story is roughly about seven to eight hours. I'm only about an hour into it. I'm fresh, but this was just a fun game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I am going to go through, upgrade my weapons, do everything I can to make that mech the most powerful mech there is to make it easier. Because as you get through the game, you can go back and play again. And because it's roguelike, it's all gonna be different, all right? So you don't have to worry about it. The same thing over and over and over because one thing I cannot stand is playing a game twice. It's very rare that I've played games twice all the way through because you know what's coming, you know what to expect, but with the roguelike it makes it a little bit more interesting because it's never going to be the same. So and what's cool about this game also, the arenas. You've got certain areas that have spiked uh, walls and spiked gears that are just grinding away. Kind of like uh, if you ever watched that show BattleBots. Oh yeah, just like BattleBots. Really cool. So they probably took some inspiration from that as well. What I love about it though, the story, is the art style. It's amazing. They, they did a really good job. Comic drawings, you could tell they put some time and effort into drawing these panels out. So it's kind of like you're, you're, you're going through a comic series. The panels pop and pop up and you read through. So regarding the graphics, I give a 8 out of 10 Alfreds only because it's a cartoonish style it's not realistic but it's done very well so don't let that 8 out of 10 fool you with the audio and sound effects I'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10 only because they didn't use the voice acting in all of the scenes and I wish they really would have I think they missed it on there like I said but hey it's still good now the gameplay, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Here's why. It is extremely fun, don't get me wrong, but I think they missed a few things. And we'll get to that at the end. So the amazing part, fun part is you can upgrade your mech like crazy. I can't wait to get going on this. I heard there's a chainsaw, there's some nail guns. Oh, there's, there's like a hundred different upgrades and add-ons you can do to your mech to make it just the best, all right? So that's coming, can't wait to get to that part. But what I think they missed out on, Gorn didn't do it, 
and my friends and I always said I wish this had multiplayer. Underdogs, they didn't do it. The developers missed out, I think, on this one as well. I think they really should have put multiplayer. But, you know, what can you do? Maybe it'll come. They did make a comment that said if this game does well, we may be able to add it on. So, if you have a PCBR, if you have a Quest 3, Quest 2, all the everything sadly but the PSVR 2, I would say this is a must-have title that you need to have on your list. So, all right guys, hope you like this video. Like I said, a little different. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, definitely not sponsored. So nothing, uh, nothing uh, changed my mind or anything. C4 not a sponsor. Could be in the future. Please C4 sponsor me. Anyways, guys, until next time, I am the Dark VR Knight. And remember, never stop gaming.